हेलो फ्रेंड्स और वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो दिस इज द सेकंड वीडियो ऑन अवर डेवॉप्स टूल्स एंड डेवॉप्स सीरीज सो वील स्टार्ट विथ द सम न्यू कोड सीरीज एंड वी कैन जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस सम ऑफ द tools which are used for uh, managing the codes so i thought let's start with aws code commit um, it is a, one of the key tool which need to be as a devops guy need to be understand how uh, the code been managed by developers what are the key component of the um, tools uh, for code management so let's start with aws code commit so uh, before start with the aws code commit uh, let me brief up something about a key uh, player in a uh, code management uh, industry is we all know about the git so but let me uh, let's start with some uh, discussion on the git a git <clears throat> is a open source distributed version control system to coordinate work track in software development so there are numerous tools available in the uh, version control system uh, git github uh, gitlab bitbucket aws code commit azure and there are no a uh, number of other uh, tools available with version version control system but git is a, uh, we can say the uh, very popular and very native uh, maximum uh, been software developer are prefer to work with git so basically it's having some um, uh, history it's basically created uh, for development of linux kernel in 2005 stack flow uh, 2018 survey um, almost 90% of the developers checking their code via git repository is a collection of file uh, and folder associated with the project along with each file's version commit a commit is a snapshot of the git repository for specific point in its timeline and used to track changes so commit is basically a snapshot if you uh, by mistakely apply some wrong changes then you can just uh, apply that particular commit id the previous uh, commit id and you can just restore it at very uh, very without very less downtime usage of git repos on aws pipeline uh, uh you can use remote git repositories as a, a source location for your pipeline the service uh, provider supported by aws code pipeline um not only in aws code pipeline but git is being integrated with jenkins uh, with azure pipeline or uh, uh, even though any other uh, ci cd uh, circle ci any other tool being manage the ci cd framework or orchestration tool always being integrated with the git because the maximum persons or the maximum developers are ready to um, work with git so we, without uh, integration of uh, uh, git your orchestration ci cd tool being no, never being work so uh, here we have a tool called a, uh, aws pipeline where we can manage our pipeline ci cd we will we'll, uh, discuss uh, more on this particular tool on very uh, 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 available uh, time period as well as we have separate videos on same your pipeline will trigger automatically each time on your push your changes to your remote repository you can uh, trigger as we are talking about automation whenever the developer been push their code to a uh, git repository or any repository your the task will be uh, perform automatic way you can use master or default branch on your pipeline usually in uh, you can have default master branch or main branch or any other branch dependent on the version control technologies supported git services providers aws code pipeline support uh, this git services by your source action so uh, if we talk about aws code pipeline 
then these are the tools uh, version control system that being man supported and managed by the pipe code pipeline aws uh, having its own version control system it supports github and bitbucket so now we'll start with our uh, main topic called git uh, sorry code commit code commit is a aws service for having a uh, hosting private git repository serverless and fully managed by aws highly available durable and scalable no limit type of size but s3 is recommended uh, sizes of 5 mb standard git tools command used to access repo there is no separate uh, command for having a uh, code commit um, sim similar uh, uh, the command which being used on git same commands being used for aws code commit you can migrate uh, from your uh, other repository uh, other git repository easily part of aws developer tool or uh, aws also introduce a developer tools as bunch of which we are having the separate uh, this videos on this series so though uh, aws code commit is a part of developer series so you can consider him as a one of the key tool for devops uh, and it integrate with various aws service we can integrate easily integrate with any uh, easy uh, with aws services the part of uh, aws developer tool can be integrate with various aws services here you can see the some of the developer tools uh, being managed and integrated with so aws service like cloud formation sns beanstalk cloudwatch and aws lambda now you can create a pipeline on aws pipeline uh, code pipeline by starting from your code commit repository uh, so we can simple uh, these are the aws developer tools here we can see uh, the common tool is code pipeline where you can manage the workflow code commit is a tool where you just uh, your upload and download it working as a version control uh, tool you can build your tech uh, the your packages using code build and you can deploy or delivery using aws code deploy so thank you uh, will now uh, will uh, navigate to practical scenarios so this my this is my uh, aws uh, code commit let me navigate to developer tools and just i'm click on uh, the developer tools here you can see code commit code artifact code build code deploy and code pipeline these are the developer tools so let's start with code commit so you can see i am i didn't create any of the repositories but make sure you need to be select your respective location so i'm just going to select mumbai you can use your prefer or uh, location now i'm going to create a repository repository name let me choose for example react repo you can use your uh, name you can put description you can uh, put tag i can say the uh, like uh, usage and it says production so by applying tag you can easily identify your repository create now uh, here i get i just warning you are not signing with uh, you are signing with root account you cannot configure ssh connection https connection for root account not recommended so it is similar uh, like i it provide me a uh, warning if you log in with your iam user you have this options uh, let me discuss about the https uh, so similar to the other user uh, here you can uh, use https ssh and https grc so let me create one iam role and having uh, let me log in with them uh, by creating the iam user let's say developer user 
developer one and attach permission directly let me put some administrator access and next and create user so now I'm going to log in with this user security advisor just click enable console user enable custom password I have set some password so let me open in my private window Let me navigate to code commit and I'm just switch to my region. Mumbai. So here I can see this repository. Here you can see I have these options for HTTPS and uh, this SSH. Okay. As why uh, as likewise we have a uh, uh, option in Git. We we can just clone the directory uh, repository. But for clone and uh, to use we need required to create one credentials. So let me navigate to the IM and users developer I'm uh, uh, and the security credentials here there is option SSH key for AWS code commit and the HTTPS git credential for code commit so I'm initially I'm just worked with the HTTPS will soon uh, uh, release one uh, video on SSH as well so I'm just generate some credentials so yes, these are the my uh, credentials for code commit. Okay, or else you can download the credentials for future. So now let me uh, create one blank folder. So I have this blank folder, and I'm just opening the command line tool. CMD. Let me uh, first add git in it. Then uh, I'm adding a remote repository. Git remote add origin, and I'm going to use this copy this URL. Now let me create a uh, one file, just blank file. Here you can see the git uh, been created. Let me add test git add dot git commit hyphen m like first commit. git push origin master so it asks more uh, for the credentials so let me put this if you have existing uh, credential setup with you need to uh, just put hyphen u as a uh, for user pop-up but as I didn't use any credentials up to now uh, it asked me for the password pop-up okay 
So now let me refresh this uh, on my code comment. So here you can see uh, my uh, under React repo that file called React has been created. Now add me some more files and we'll add more um, this uh, React sample. If you remember our past videos we have this uh, sample the folder for the React application. So how you can add uh, the additional files? Again, I will add um, git add dot dot stands for the all the folders being managed, all the the newly added files been added um, in git repository. So there are uh, more files. Let me commit uh, with message called second. So ideally, uh, the main purpose behind uh, to put the message is we can identify the code uh, commit easily. And git post origin master. Here you can see now the second time password won't pop up because already password been same in my uh, Windows credentials. So automatically the password being saved. Now let me navigate to repository. Let me refresh it. So here I can see there are uh, all the build files being ad added. Now uh, if you have any um, more than one uh, branch you can uh, have you can create a pull request by creating the pull request commits here you can see the commit and commit id commit id as we uh, discussed earlier it is a snapshot of the your changes the first commit before two minutes uh, the author is the same herpal 1990 the my user and um, here you can see the browse and the copy id let me browse this so here you can see what are the uh, wrapper being browsed let me again navigate to commits if you browse this, you can see only test txt been attached. Branches, you can create multiple branches. For example, let me add uh, some staging. Branch from, if you clone a branch from one to another, here you can see multiple branches been attached. Gate tag, you can also create a tag uh, for managing those uh, repository and uh, by on setting you can change your repository name if you create a notification rule on each of these trigger like commit pull request approval if you need to have some approvals pull request and branch you can add and also as far as we already uh, have SNS uh, one uh, YouTube uh, URL on the SNS topic, you can uh, if you don't know about the SNS, you can go and uh, validate that particular video first. You can use SNS topic, chatbot, and Slack as well. So every time, whenever this uh, event trigger, you will get particular notification. Uh, trigger you if you create a trigger or some you know whenever these changes occurred you can want to trigger something event you can and tax repository tax uh, we have usage and the production as we have created approval you can also appro create approval rule whenever this uh, thing happen need required approval and uh, using approval you can uh, manage your repository in pep way so yes uh, these are the option uh, on the code commit let me add more thing um, uh, cha change one thing let me 
delete this test file and uh, git add dot git commit third commit or else you can say remove txt file let me add third commit you can add any uh, message and git push origin master so now I have removed this uh, tech, uh, uh, test file test.txt in uh, master branch so validate uh, test is there not test.yaml is there but test.txt been removed let me validate on the staging test.txt is there so if you pull the request let me pull request from uh, destination will be master and source will be staging so only difference is text test file is not there so let me compare so since uh, there is no conflict much uh, let me vice versa So it validate uh, your pull request there is no conflicts been match one file is deleted here you can see deleted file is there but no, none of the files being added okay so using this you can add uh, some pull request also let me add some files over here uh, or else I can uh, validate uh, using git branch I am in master let me Git fetch. Sorry, git fetch. You can have one branch called staging as well. Now uh, again, I just branch. Let me git check out staging. Now let me run dir. Here I can see the taste.txt is applied over here as well. Okay. Let me uh, create some uh, first remove this uh, taste here from uh, uh, as well. So our git add dot git commit our fourth. Get push origin staging so now validate on staging branch as well test file has been removed now let me add something and my existing uh, staging branch so let me navigate to app uh, sorry dir navigate to src sorry dir and add something for uh, change in code uh, like source code using visual studio code let me add something on app.js welcome to react i'm just adding set v1 and save and here you can see save is notified now sorry git add dot Git commit, I'm seeing fifth and git push origin stay. So now let me create pull request from staging to 
master source will be stage A and master let's compare files one file being added uh, change source to app.js and files being applied so these are the way to create a pull request uh, and um, validate the changes like title change the app file and create so uh, one pull request been applied from staging to master and now I'm going to merge Num author name select and now text server g at gmail.com. So uh, I'm just removing this delete source staging branch after no. So now it's been merged. So let me validate uh, on master SRC app sorry src and app.js so here you can see version 1 being applied so in this way you can pull requests as well between branches so hope you guys will understand uh, what are the uh, code commit repositories and how it works it is similar to the git um, github and uh, the uh, bitbucket and the gitlab so thank you, thank you very much. Uh, hope you guys find enough things on uh, this particular uh, video session. Kindly uh, put uh, your comment on the comment sections and if I um, fail to uh, have some uh, things, I apply the things and uh, if you need to learn more then keep me posted on the comment section so I can try to fix those uh, things kindly subscribe the channel and like the videos thank you thank you very much